Heavy fighting rages in Iraq as the battle for Mosul continues on Thursday. Iraqi troops are moving cautiously through a neighbor, uh, neighborhoods uh, just inside the city limits. Iraqi forces are going house to house to ensure the safety of civilians. The soldiers are being careful not to trigger any booby trap bombs as well as being alert for ambushes and sniper fire from Islamic State militants who are being urged by their leader to remain and resist losing the last major city they hold in Iraq. The breach into Mosul triggered the exodus of hundreds of families to camps located east of the city. Iraqi officials estimate that more than a million civilians remain in the city. Islamic State fighters have tried to add to the city's population and as its fighters withdrew from outlying villages, it forced some families to accompany them as human shields. Meanwhile, in cities and villages outside the front line, some locals say they live in fear. As long as, as long as militants control the provincial capital, nowhere in the area is safe. Viewers have the Madoc reports from Bartella in Iraq. Soldiers say civilians are trapped in the battle zones and they are fighting IS militants on the streets. The next phase of the struggle for Mosul is coming soon, and soldiers say it is expected to be long and dangerous for everyone involved. IS techniques are suicide bombs and explosive cars, which are dangerous for everyone. But we want to liberate Mosul, and our soldiers are well trained. As towns and villages surrounding Mosul are recaptured, a world of destruction is revealed. Shops and homes are in rubble, windows are shattered, and shell casings are scattered on the streets. There is no running water or electricity in this town, but residents trickle in to see what has become of their homes. It has been two years since we've seen our homes and our city, and we are tired of being refugees. It is not just our house that was destroyed, it is the whole city. Vehicles with white flags are appearing at refugee camps, carrying families fleeing the battle zones. The International Organization for Migration says more than 20,000 people have been displaced since the offensive began more than two weeks ago, and as many as a million more are expected. But many displaced families say if their suffering is necessary to destroy IS, they have no choice but to pay the price. Heather Murdoch, VOA News, Bartella, Iraq.